Welcome to Exploration Data Analysis. Data exploration analysis is an ability to explore data by knowing the distribution patterns of data, summarizing data, describing data in various types of plots, graphs, charts and tables bits with inferential analysis. The purpose of form stem and leaf is for several things. 1. Knowing the symmetry of the observation pattern, whether the data mends right or left. 2. Knowing the spread of data or variations in observation data. 3. Detect outliers. 4. Knowing the concentration of data. 5. Know whether there are data gaps or gaps. Then what is the structure of stem and leaf? Stem and leaf consists of three parts, namely the first part of the stem, this section shows the first digit of the data you want to present. The second part is the leaf, this section shows the remaining digits of the digit stem, written on the right. And the third part is key, key is the main key of data reading technique, so that the data you present is understood by others, then the way is to use key. For example, we have small data, 10, 21, 32, 44, 56, 65. Then when we want to serve in stem and leaf, the digits 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 are part of the stem diagram and placed on the left, and the remaining numbers are 0, 1, 3, 4, 6, 5 to be used as leaf parts, and placed on the right. And the last one is key, for key 1, 4 it means 14. Next what about the advantages and disadvantages of presenting stem and leaf data? The advantage lies in the efficiency of presentation meaning that stem and leads are easy to make, the second is that basic statistical calculations are easier, these calculations are like six number summary, namely maximum value, minimum value, lower quartile, upper quartile, median and range. We have studied the theory of exploratory data analysis, and now we are learning how to solve problems related to the exploration of analytical data. The first is scratching numbers. Scratching numbers is a way to write numbers by sorting and grouping them into two forms, namely the conventional form and the reminder digit. The first example. A number is shown as shown in the picture, namely 9, 5, 7, 13, 10, 5, 4, 2, and 2. Then what is the resolution? First, the data must be sorted first from the smallest to the largest. Digit reminder is quite simple, which is to write a digit stem and write the rest in the leaf section, then for conventional, the leaf in the form of a number is transformed into a symbol. This is the same when we use tally, but the difference is only in the location of the presentation, namely in stem and leaf. Second example example. 
random numbers are presented as above, the method is almost the same as the first example, the difference is only in the digit stem in the form of an interval, this method is very effective for a large amount of data, so it does not allow writing one unit stem, then interval can be adjusted to our needs. Third problem example. Presented data as above, the data is still random, the first method always starts with specifying the stem digit, then write it on the left. The process of this question is divided into two parts, namely one digit leaf and two digit leaf. At one, bit leaf all numbers are sorted from the largest data to the smallest data, then determine the stem diagram. From the picture we can see that there are two star data, you do not need to worry about this, it shows that on the stem part there are groupings 1-5 interval interval, this only makes the data easier to see, does not affect the overall value, at 2 digit leaf it is the same as the 1 digit leaf, which only lies in the location of the leaf, which removes 1 digit of the unit, which means only in tens of leaf diagrams.